Welcome back to another episode of Coming Clean. So today I want to jump back into a topic that obviously I love, and that is health and wellness. Fitness, as you know, has been a huge part of my life, and it's been a huge part of my life for over a decade now, which, oh my gosh, saying that makes me just feel so old because I haven't really done anything <laughs> for over a decade but I have done fitness. And thankfully, I have learned over time how to easily make fitness a lifestyle. And the reason that I mention it being a lifestyle for me is because it isn't something that I only focus on for one season out of the year. And when I say that, I mean, I don't focus on it like, okay, summer's coming up and I need to get in shape. Or some people focus on it as you know, they have like a date or an event coming up and they, you know, quote unquote, need to diet for that special event. And then they kind of yo-yo for the rest of the year. But that one event, that vacation or whatever it is, you know, they kind of like go into diet mode or summer's coming up and oh my gosh, it's spring. So we need a diet for summer. I mean, that's one way to go about it, but newsflash, it's September, and when September rolls around, a lot of us usually get in that September mentality, and the momentum and the confidence kind of falls off, and if you look it up, research shows that people tend to gain weight around the winter months. You know, we hide under sweaters, and you know... Everything just kind of goes downhill as, as winter and fall come around. So today, I want to share with y'all how I keep, you know, this fitness thing going through every season. And I wanted to also share some surefire ways that will help you stay fit in fall. All right, y'all, let's dive into it. Okay, guys, so summer is officially over, dun, 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 <laughs> and fall has begun. Now, I know that some of y'all are in the South, <laughs> or it's still probably hot, like California, Arizona, <laughs> Florida, <laughs> and um, I know in, in, here in Texas, it stays warm into the fall months for a while. The pool is probably still an option and it probably will be for some time. But September 22nd is the official, official first day of fall. So for the purpose of the podcast and the principle of this topic today, staying fit in fall, <laughs> it is fall <laughs> and we're just gonna, and we're just gonna go with that. So what does fall mean? So to me, fall means cooler weather, sweaters, pumpkin spice lattes. I had to throw that in there. <laughs> the trees are changing colors. There's lots of family time, which means that probably more downtime, comfort food, picture worthy moments, pumpkin patches. I mean, can I get a yes, please, for all of the above? Fall, I don't know about you, but fall is actually my favorite time of year. It's just, just reminds me of so much happiness. <laughs> but also, fall means the start of holiday season. I don't know about y'all, but for me, when it when the year starts, it kind of starts like this. It's like January, February, six hours later, August, September, October, November, December, done. 
Like, I swear, <laughs> the first of the year is so slow. June and July just kind of pass right by. And then you got August. It's kind of slow. And then I swear, September, October, November, December just fly by so fast. And before you know it, Christmas is here. You're probably like thinking, amen, girl. I know. It's crazy. It's like you blink your eyes. And then there's October, November, and December, which we are like literally almost in October right now. And everyone is super busy with Halloween. We have Thanksgiving, Christmas, and it just like flies right by. Now, what I've realized is that the summer months become just like a dim memory. (laughs) And then we're bam into the hectic holiday season and you may feel your passion for fitness slowly start to go away. I don't know, but to me, going to the gym, eating healthy, and staying active, it just seems like everything is just a bit easier during the summer versus during the fall and winter months. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but that's just like how I feel. And I just feel like we are busier Um, Life seems more hectic and it's easier to fall back on your fitness and push it to the side. And so if that's you, you can probably relate to me. The holiday season is full of parties and family time. And the last thing that's going on in your mind is going to the gym. Also, I must say, because I'm only on year two of being a mom, the holidays are a completely different story now that I have Presley. I swear that it flies by even faster because of all the things that you have to do to prepare for the holidays, but also that are on your plate for being a parent. So today, I just kind of wanted to regain our, our focus and our energy back to us. I feel that fall is actually a great time to start a new health and wellness goal or goals rather than it just being January 1st. Because if you start now, you will be creating good habits for the holiday season and the upcoming winter months. And that will just naturally bleed into the new year. It will be so effortless and easy. It's also such a good time to just rethink and restart. Probably after summer, after July, maybe August, you've already kind of to kind of slid off your like fitness journey a little bit. And I personally think it's even better to start in the fall. What I like to kind of say is a fall in love with yourself fall. So fall is a great time to do all kinds of things with yourself, to learn about yourself and to really dig deep and see like what's within you to help regain your trust and just to form like a whole new appreciation within yourself. You can plan to just give yourself some time, attention and affection And give that to the most important person in your life. And that should be you. So if you're listening to this, I just hope that we can all consciously make an effort to fall in love with ourselves this fall. Another thing to know is starting or continuing a fitness plan and a fitness routine in the fall. If you do that, I feel like you're just like climbing uphill in some way because yes, it's challenging to do it during the fall when you have everything going on, but once you get to the top, which is like the new year of your mountain, it's going to be such a breeze and you are going to do yourself a huge favor by just starting now or continuing and not giving up through the holiday season. It will also help your holiday food guilt, and it could possibly help your seasonal depression or, you know, what some people might want to call the winter blues. I know that food guilt 
and exercise guilt is extremely unhealthy and you don't need to deal with it. So instead, just have a routine ready and going and it can just easily help you avoid that. I'm sure you know that regular physical activity during the colder month is a huge help to depression, which is like, you know, seasonal depression or the winter blues. So if you just maintain your level of exercise and like just stay on a healthy, balanced diet, this is just such a great way to elevate your mood daily and just to keep those energy levels going through the winter. Going to the gym or even like having like accountability partner, whether it's a workout partner or someone that you're texting about your workouts and you know your routine and what's going on in your life physically. This is also a great, you know, social um, benefit. And that can also help seasonal depression. I mean, there are just so many things that it can benefit emotionally, physically, mentally, socially, like I was saying, and intellectually, if you just stay on top of your regimen throughout the fall and winter. Also, I have heard, because I have clients, a lot of people complain about just being naturally more tired in the fall. I know that there's a time change, so you're getting less daylight and You know, that's just like one thing that I've even felt that I feel like I'm lacking energy in the fall, but being active helps with your energy and your mindset, and it also promotes better sleep. So it's just everything here is a win-win. Something to go along with this topic of food is seasonal food choices. There are so many just different fruits and vegetables that fall has to offer that you should just definitely take advantage of and try them and try something new. Look up new recipes on like Pinterest, you know, fall, healthy fall recipes and just stock up on all the amazing fruits and vegetables in this time of year because not only are they abundant for the season and they're extra tasty right now. I'm just thinking about it. My mouth is watering, but because they're in season, they're also more affordable. Some examples, um, could be apples, sweet potato, squash, beets, pears, pumpkins, of course, um, cranberries, pomegranates, Brussels sprouts. I mean, some of my favorite fall recipes that are healthy is Ooh, like a homemade butternut squash soup. Delicious. Lambert told me that he loves sweet potatoes with marshmallows and cinnamon. Sounds so good. Live Body has a pumpkin pie protein. So mix that for your shakes for the fall. You could do like a roasted fall vegetable with walnuts and cranberries. Like, mm, mm, mm. Like, Woo, that sounds delicious. So whip up those fall recipes and really take advantage of making healthier options for fall. Also, upping your protein intake, whether it's chicken, beef, fish, or even a vegetarian option, it's so important. And there's so many amazing fall um, seasonings that you can put on to just make your protein tastes more like rich in fall, but adding protein to your diet encourages fat loss, as I'm sure you know, but by not only reducing your feeling of hunger, but by also burning extra calories because protein has a high thermic effect, which means that your body naturally just increases the energy to digest the protein that it does to, rather than I, in rather than digesting carbs or fat. So you burn extra calories simply, simply by making protein a larger part of your fall and winter diet. And remember, if you're counting your macros, this is what I always say, aim for one gram of protein 
per pound of body weight per day. So for example, my, you know, goal weight that I'm hitting at right now is 135. So I'm eating about 135 grams of protein per day. Along with eating for the season, which sounds so delicious, you can exercise for the season as well. So going into the five things today, I really wanted to kind of dive in to the activities that make fall a little bit more accessible and fun. So let's get into it. So for the five things today, I wanted to give you guys some fall inspo in, you know, like fitness style. So here are the five ways to stay fit this fall. Number one, which I love fall weather for, it's exercising outdoors. And like I said, I love this one because of the fall weather. It's just like so... I don't know. So energizing to me. So any chance you can just take your workout outside, whether it's doing cardio, grabbing some free weights, going to a park, using a bench, um, you know, just even like something as simple as taking your workout with your weights to your driveway or in your garage. That's what I like to do. It's just so nice of how it feels to get movement in outdoors in the fall weather. Even like, again, like it could just be something so simple. You could even just do like yoga outside, but just schedule time to work out and just find ways to just to take your workout outdoors. Maybe if you go to the gym still, even if it's like something as simple as taking a walk or a hike with your kids, with your dog, with your partner, just get outside. Number two is, it sounds simple and it can be maybe a little bit annoying, but in the fall and winter months, just schedule time to work out. I know that it can just seem a little daunting, but if you put something in your schedule, I promise you it will be worth it and you will be more likely to do it. So if you don't have time in the morning anymore because summer is over, switch it to the afternoon or even get a work, an evening workout in, or even if you need to like sign up for a class to keep you accountable, if maybe in the fall or winter you need to sign up for a challenge or sign up with a trainer, whatever you need to do to help keep yourself accountable, find a accountability partner like Lambert and I will now like go to the gym together. We may not even like work out together, but we are like keeping each other accountable to go to the gym. Any movement is better than nothing, even if you are parking at the farthest parking space away from your store. If, if like your store, your like Walmart, your trip, whatever you're going on, um, going to walk around your neighborhood to look at Christmas lights. That's something that Jason and I love to do around Christmas. Just whatever you can do to get your body moving, do that. Number three, and this one I kind of said in number two, but find an accountability partner. This is always a good thing, whether it be in the fall, winter months, um, whenever it is, it's always great to have an accountability partner because if you feel busy or if you feel unmotivated, that accountability partner is going to help you get your butt in gear. I mean, let's face it. We are all more likely to stick to something when someone else is counting on us to show up. That is the truth. And even if you can't find someone to physically work out with you, you can still benefit from someone telling you about their experience at the gym today or whatever. So you can text your friend, um, tell them about your goals, make it public on your Instagram, on your Facebook, whatever it is, do that. Um, Just find what works for you and keep on going. The next one I want to say is to sign up for something. It could be like a holiday run. It could be a a holiday challenge, like the Fit and Five Challenge has a bunch of holiday challenges. Just some fun way to help you stay active during the holiday. And also maybe you could get your friends to sign up for it, your family to sign up for it. 
I know that Thanksgiving runs are literally in every single city or a city near a small town. So there's no excuses. I know that there's like Halloween 5Ks, there's turkey trots, there's Santa runs, even if it's a run where you're running to different pubs. (laughs) Make it fun. Um, You can walk it, you can run it, uh, you get it like a free t-shirt out of it. It's just a a good time for everyone. It's something that everyone can experience together. But again, little movement is better than no movement and you just will feel better and more energized. The next one I want to say is make a specific goal. It is always good to have a goal, but a specific plan or a goal during the holiday season can help you push through when times get really tough and you're just lacking motivation. I like to set obtainable goals for myself and I like to celebrate the small victories and wins along the way. It's helpful to your journey and it's fun to celebrate Staying fit in fall may seem like it is a little daunting, but I hope now you feel like you have a better grasp and you feel like you can make it possible. And I feel like this podcast motivated you to not let your fitness goals go stagnant during the holidays. I hope that you just really stay on top of it and you just Everything just becomes a routine to you. It's not a seasonal thing. You know, your health and wellness, um, I hope that it's important to you. Now, being a mom, it's even more important to me because I know that if I'm my best self, not only will I be my best self for Presley, for myself, I'll be a better boss, I'll be a better friend, I'll be a better um, partner. It's just... it. I hope that it bleeds to every aspect of your life and you just don't make it just a seasonal thing. You just, you get happier, you get more energized, and that really affects every part of your life. I also wanted to say before I sign off that sleep is such an important part of your health and wellness journey. And I feel like sometimes people forget about it. I know I have in the past. <laughs> I, it, it, yeah, it just is completely like put on the back burner, but just try to make it a conscious effort to make it go hand in hand with, you know, falling back in love with yourself for fall. Um, so I, I hope that maybe you write that on like a sticky note and put it on your fridge to make it a point to fall in love with yourself this fall. I think it's just like a fun, catchy phrase, but it's also something that, you know, I hope that you try to live by. Um, I just think it's a perfect opportunity to, to, to make yourself a priority because it is super duper important. Um, this episode was really fun for me to put together because I'm I'm just so passionate about this topic. If there if there is any topic that you specifically want me to cover, please please let me know um, because obviously I want to talk about things that you guys want to hear about or talk about. Um, I've been kind of like I know like teetering through my topics. Some is about health and wellness. Some is about personal things. Some is about business. If you want to hear maybe more about business, let me know. But um, I'm doing one episode a week, so I definitely want to touch on things that you guys want to hear about. So let's all make a conscious effort to fall in love with ourselves in fall and, you know, stay on top of those fitness goals because you deserve it. That is all for me today. Go to Apple podcast, rate and review this episode. If you have any other chance to listen to the last episodes, they're about 20 to 30 minutes long. If there's a title that really speaks to you, click on it and give it a go. And if you aren't watching on YouTube, go subscribe to my channel now. I love you guys and I will talk to y'all and see you on YouTube next week. Bye guys.